My parents, my parents want me to work a nine to five. What do I do? What do I do? Roll it. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nico Zorantes. This is mentorsapproach.com where we strive each and every day to post some motivational idea to get your mindset moving in the right direction. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe if you like what you see, and of course, leave a comment below. Let's jump into this. Hi, Nikos. I'm 26 years old and just finished my MBA. Congratulations. Uh, you know, as many people as they get, as, as they get it now, it's, uh, it's a hard one to get, so good, good stuff. I wanted to launch a business, but my parents won't support me. See this? World's smallest war violin is playing in the background right now. They want me to get a job. I keep seeing all these people do great things and I want that too. Not a career in an office. What do you do when your parents don't support you? You stop playing the violin. You go do it. That's what you do. You go find what you're gonna do. You look, look, your parents are gonna tell you what they want you to do because they're gonna pick the safest road for you. It's what they understand. It's how they will help you succeed the best they can. And they want that what is best for you and that's what they see. They're not gonna want you to go risk several years plus debt, plus this, plus that to start an idea that may or may not work. They want you to go down that pick a white picket fence road where you get the career, you get the the girl, and then you get married, have kids, paint the fence white, and you eventually retire and die and your kids just repeat because you're gonna do the same thing. It's, that's what they want for you. They, they don't want anything more from you because that is, they look at this as uh, what more would you want? You can't blame them. You can't blame them. This is the simple uh, fact of life. I blame my parents too back in the day. You know, uh, everybody goes through that when they're younger. And, and this is the thing. You know, I said the world's smallest violin because it's your decision to do what you want to do with your life. Nobody else's. Your, your parents are basically making a suggestion. That's what they're doing and they're doing a guilt trip probably on you for you wanting to write the email this way. And the reality really is, you know, uh, what's, what do you, what do you have to lose? You're only 26. And on that note, you know, the questions, if we were having a coach call, it would be this. One, what is your idea? Do you have an idea? Is there an actual idea there? That simple. What is it? Is two. Three, how are you gonna make money out of it? What do you need to do? Do you have a plan? Do you have a workable action packed plan with timelines and money that's gonna be you know, budgeted and spread across and you're gonna launch and you're gonna have this business? Do you have any of that? Have you designed that, sat down and created it in any way? That would be my first question. If your uh, answer was, no, I don't, well then how do you think your parents are gonna support you? Hey, I want a business. Oh yeah? Yeah, uh, come on, man. Let's really be realistic here and ask ourselves, what do we need to do in order for somebody to trust us for one? So I would go do that if you haven't done that. Two, what I would be doing is if I have done all that and my parents won't support me, I would make a decision to go find somebody who will support me on a financial level if I need that. Or I would do what I did and go out and do whatever it takes to go do it. If you need to find a job in the meantime, go find a job in the meantime while you build. The best thing you can really do is, you know, Move out, go get a job so you can pay your minimums and move out. If the person that is over your head is not allowing you to do the things you need to do, then move out and go do it. Prove to them that you can do it. Prove to them. 
And if you fail at it, which is the risk factor that everybody faces, so what? You failed, at least you tried. At least you tried. And if you succeed, you have the benefit of saying, I did it myself. Stop thinking like there should be a handout for you. Just go do it, find a way. And if you find a way, you will get to it. Put a timeline on it. Say, hey, one or two years, I'm gonna go do this. And if I can't solve it in two years, well, I'm gonna go get a job and go the career route until another idea comes in this mind of hers and go that route. Do not play the violin because you're gonna sit there playing the violin for a very, long time. My name is Nikos Rentas. This is MentorsApproach.com. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and of course, leave a comment below. Who knows, somebody might be reading it that's in this situation, and what you write might help change a life.